They must be in some isolated place. What do you mean? The kind of place nobody's allowed to enter so no one comes by on accident. That's right. An information-gathering lunatic would know. I'm not a lunatic. Mink takes a slow whiff of his pipe. Your grandmother has been taken to the Kaysen in, no or in the north. Kaysen? Actually, there are unused warehouses up there. Investigate it. Mink points his pipe to noise. I don't remember taking orders from you. Think of it as an exchange. We both want something sorted out, don't we? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god, the little cube thing is so cute! And it even goes, Pee! Oh god. <laughs> I think that's the only thing about Noise that I like is his all mate. <laughs> Noise clicks his tongue angrily. Pulls out the monitor and keyboard from his coil and begins the operation. Anyway, why do you get to call the shots? Fine, you go ahead and take the initiative. Huh? Kojaku bends forward, not quite satisfied with the answer. Mink's allmate stops cleaning itself and raises its head. I think you shouldn't waste your energy yelling like that. Hey, you shut up! Benny glares at the cockatoo from Kojaku's shoulders. Feathers flared up. All mates really are just like their owners. What'd you say, you bastard? Both of you, shut up. Noise interrupts the all mates fight and turns his monitor over for us to see. On its map is the old resident district with a red arrow pointing to a spot. This is where Kaysen is. I tried to access their network. I got an error. If it was a normal off-limits area, there wouldn't have been a network in the first place. This place's data has a blank error screen. In short, it's fake. He's trying to emulate a disfunct network. So we were right. I guess. There used to be a lot of treatment plants built here. But they all closed down and became off-limits a few years ago. And it's still used as a dump, an illegal one at that. No one's ever cracked down on it. Granny's there. I've received some reports on roughly where she is. There's no con uh, concrete proof that she's here, but it's worth it to take that chance. Even if Taisan's kidnappers are here, we have no idea what this place is like. Isn't that dangerous? Oh, if that's it... Then I know the place quite well. Oh, uh, this isn't a time to joke around. I know. I really do know this area. I used to take walks in this area a long time ago, and I have a really high-pitched voice because I'm clear. <laughs> uh, hmm. Eh? What is it? Why did everyone suddenly go quiet? Do you doubt me? Please don't do that. I really do know. I can draw you a map if you want me to. <laughs> Clear is unhappy with our reactions and takes out a piece of paper and pen from his coat pocket. And here. Clear glides the pen across the paper without a single pause. Done. I'm finished. Hey, hey, are you serious about this map? Compare it. Mink takes the map from Clear and brings it to Noise. Uh, it matches up. So it really is right. Didn't I say so before? Oh, you're all so mean! <laughs> oh god, it's so cute. Well, with this we won't get lost. Let's follow it. Follow this mask guy? <laughs> Kojaku looks at the rest of us with a reluctant face. All he does is weird crap. Why should we? You have no right to say that about someone else. Shut up! I don't have the intention of getting buddy-buddy with you all. I'm just doing it 
the easy way. It's more efficient. Then we should just all split up. It's better that way. Even if we lay out a detailed plan, there's no guarantee that everyone will follow it exactly. Especially the masked guy here. That's what I've been saying. I was talking about you and Gas Mask over here. What was that? Eh, me? That's awful! I wanted to be friends with all of you, too! Keep your jokes to yourself. Eh! <sighs> this is impossible! I thought it would be, and I was right. No one is cooperating! If they could at least look like they could work together... Hey, gas mask guy! Don't butt into our complicated conversation and shut up! You should do the same thing. No way! So mean! It's not complicated at all! <laughs> While I'm sitting here at my wit's end, these guys just keep going on and on like little kids. This really isn't the time. While we waste our time, Granny could be in, er, in even more danger for all we know. More and more time as... Or more and more as time goes on. These guys are seriously... You guys cut this shit out already! With no patience left, I yell at them. Even if I do that, they won't listen to me anyway. Well, that's what I thought. Huh? Huh? They suddenly all stop their banter. Eh, why did... It's just like what Oba said. We need to stop this. It was useless to waste our time with this in the first place. Anyway, let's go. That's right, let's go! Everyone's mind changes with the flip of a switch, and they all stand up from the sofa. I don't know how exactly, but it seems they all came to a mutual understanding. Well, whatever. It turned out alright in the end. <clears throat> alright, let's go. I pull myself together and get up from the sofa. Granny, I'll definitely save you. Mizuki and the rest of Dry Juice, too. We leave Haven and head towards the North District. Here we go, guys! Yeah! We're going on an adventure! The North District's Kaysen is like a ghost town completely in ruins. More and more large warehouses were being built, and they were all labeled no trespassing, so this area became a place to illegally uh, dump trash. As if to deck out the empty buildings, people would throw their old furniture and anything else really into them. Of course, nobody was there, and it gave off an eerie atmosphere. While being very careful, we follow Clear's lead. There are mountains of trash here, and it leads me to remember something. It looks like the place from the game. Game? That game that I got sent. But it wasn't a game, it was a demo movie. Some guys took uh, took out Granny and kidnapped her, and they took her to where uh, there were trash heaps. This place certainly is a dump. It's just a coincidence. I thought so too, but it's still strange. Isn't there a treatment center around here? Is there? Ugh. Uh, I, I guess we'll see. Noise pulls up a map on his coil and shows it to everyone. So there is. It's the tallest standing building in this area. That sounds very suspicious. Uh, I, I guess. I'll go there immediately. Clear quickly walks up or walks in the building's direction. He did say that he used to take walks here, but he's a weird one, isn't he? He's weird, but he's really sweet and... Ah! We walk along a trash-ridden path and see a giant building. This must be it. Please wait. Clear puts his arm out to stop us. What's wrong? I can hear it. Right now. In there. Hear it? I don't hear anything. I listen carefully, but... All I can hear is the rustling of trash, but it doesn't seem like Clear is messing around. I hear them. They're in there. Let's go. Making sure we breathe 
uh, quietly, we start to advance towards the plant. Cling uh, clinging to the walls, I can hear the faint sound of people inside. It's just like Claire said, people are in there. Even more than we thought. I touch the bag under my arm. Ren is in sleep mode. To make sure Ren is with me, I stroke the top of my bag. This is where the no trespassing signs start. Just to make sure a signal doesn't come off from my allmate, everyone keeps theirs turn or from an allmate, everyone keeps theirs turned off. I see a door slightly opened that doesn't uh that d uh, that looks like a back entrance along the wall. Uh Kojaku peeks into it cautiously. Is anyone in here? We're all going in. As far as it goes, we should wait for the right chance to get near those guys. I don't know what's in there. We decide that Kojaku, Mink, Clear, and I will go inside. Noise will be on the sidelines, acting as network surveillance and erasing real-time history of us being there. Noise stands back a bit as, uh, er, and has his keyboard and monitor connected to his coil. He begins the operation. There's no problems on my side. Good. That, yeah, that, that, that's good. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's approach him, I guess. I approach Noise and take a look at his hands. He doesn't take a single look away from the monitor and keeps typing. What? N nothing I was just wondering how you were doing. So you don't trust me? It's not that. I'm just nervous. Sorry for bothering you when you're so focused. I'm not going to screw up, so whatever. Don't blow it when we're out there. I know. Do you? How uncute! But it was my fault for interrupting him in the first place. Without saying another word, I left. Isn't this exciting? It sounds like you think this is a game. Let's go. On Mink's uh, signal, Kojaku opens the door. Oh, no. No. <laughs> there was a crowd of black clo uh, clothed people in a room that was otherwise empty. Are these guys part of morphine? All of them turn around and see us. Oh, God. Then they all run full speed towards us. They're coming! Uh, oh, Kojaku. Oh god. Don't go over there. Hey, come over here! Mm. Wah! Kojaku and Mink head towards the first and cut through the crowd. I follow with the indecisive clear close behind. Kojaku-san! I hear footsteps behind us. It's the Benny Shigure group! Hooriah! Kojaku exchanges looks with his members and knocks down the black clothes people one by one. Mink silently fights them with his fists, taking two, even three members down at once. There! Ugh. I go to get some black clothes guy as well, but I can't avoid one of them and an elbow hits my chin. Ow, oh, wow, 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 you little. He immediately pulls his fist back for another hit but I stop him with my arm. But then, he starts to rapidly pound with his other fist. You're so persistent! Huh? I look at his face, and the sight sends shivers down my spine. What's wrong with this guy's eyes? They look blank, just like a doll's. And when I take a better look at his face, I realize something. Is this guy part of dry juice? Huh? As I stand distracted, he takes the chance to send a blow to my shoulder. The intense pain travels as far as my fingertips. That hurt, you asshole! Ooh, that kick, though! Well, that butt, actually. <laughs> I reflexively turn and let loose a roundhouse kick. I hit his stomach, and he looks as if he's about to crumble to the ground. The people here... Are they all dry juice? What? A fist comes at me from the side and I kick it in a panic. 
Right. Where'd Claire go?